We turn our attention to the Song of Moses in Deuteronomy chapter 32, in which Yahweh says to his people, I, I am he, and there is none, there's no other God beside me. I'm the one who kills and makes alive. I am the one who wounds and the one who heals. This is his whole death and resurrection theme that we see already in this chapter 32 of Deuteronomy. In fact, that whole song itself is basically Moses teaches the people that when they go into the promised land, they're going to forget the promise. They're going to forget to listen and learn from God. They're going to want to listen to the voices of the world. They want a different word. In fact, that's the problem that we all have by nature is our hearts are corrupted and we we form images from the imagination of our heart of what we think God is like and what God likes. We follow after false gods. So when the people of God were led by Moses and then Joshua would take them into the promised land, Moses warned them, you're going to forget God. You are going to stop listening and learning and hearing his voice. Instead, you will follow false gods. You will follow the rocks in the land. That's the false gods. You will reject the rock of your salvation, and you're going to take refuge in these false rocks. And so this passage here, then when it talks about the death and resurrection, as God says, I am sending you there. I'm warning you, but I'm also telling you that I'm the God who is faithful to his promise in the promised land. I, I am he who kills and makes alive. I'm the one who wounds, and I'm the one who heals. So this song, of course, is sung also by Hannah in her own version. We see this in 1 Samuel chapter 2, where Hannah sings out and she cries out about how great it is that God has heard her, giving her the gift of life, giving her a child. And she says that Yahweh is the one who kills and makes alive. Yahweh is the one who takes down to Sheol and raises up again. In fact, this is what we also see in the prophet Hosea, chapter 6, where he's talking about the death and resurrection. And so he says that Yahweh is the one who has torn us so that he may heal us. Come, let us return to him. Yahweh is the one who struck us down so that he would bind us up, that he would make us whole again, that on the, the third day he would raise us up again to live with him, that in two days we would once again be vivified, made alive. And that hope of the death and resurrection that we see as we go down to the ground and we return from the ground is all fulfilled in Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life. But in order to have life, Jesus must die. And so in this passage from Moses in Deuteronomy 32, where Yahweh says, I am he and there is none beside me, there's no other God. I'm the one who kills and makes alive. I'm the one who wounds and heals. These are the same words that Jesus is giving to us in John chapter 10, when he says that he is the good shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep, and then he takes it back up again. And his sheep know his voice, they listen to him, they follow him, and he gives them eternal life. And then he says, no one can snatch them out of my hand. It is good to be in the hand of the Lord who is faithful to his promises in the midst of death and the hope of the resurrection we have in Christ. Did we do good? Is that, is that okay? If, if you liked that, hit the button that says that you like that. Maybe even subscribe to see more of these. Even give, help us fund this mission of making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.